This is what Afghanistan's up against. Fifteen years after the Taliban was ousted with the help of U.S. forces, video posted by the militants purportedly shows their fighters pushing into the center of Kunduz city. They were still holed up there as more than 70 governments met in Brussels, promising greater financial support for a nation they see as crucial to global security. For the period 2017-2020, International partners commit and, re and confirm their intention to provide 15.2 billion US dollars in support of Afghanistan's development priorities. Despite such largesse, Afghanistan is required to sign up to a range of political, social and economic reforms. The EU's foreign policy chief says they include a demand for Kabul to take back Afghans who are not considered refugees. It's only referring to uh, Afghans that are uh, present on the European uh, Union territory uh, without a legal basis for that, which means without an asylum uh, procedure uh, or without having asked for asylum uh, or having been rejected asylum. The EU says it's also won support for reviving Afghanistan's stalled peace process, but that still seems a long way off given the deep divisions between many of the parties involved.